Well, good morning, Coasters. And uh, today we've got a, another candidate that has accepted the offer from the Coasters Club to do an interview and put it on the Coasters Club. Uh, and we, today we've got uh, uh, Jim Buttsbatch, who's sitting for the Hokitik Award of the Western District Council uh, elections. Jim, first of all, thank you so much for accepting our invitation. Thank, thanks for that, Bruce. Um, uh, I've been thinking about standing uh, for about three years, um, and I finally sort of got around to doing it again. Um, and I think it would be a good thing to do, because I can see that um, some level head are needed. Jim, uh, I'm, I'm really surprised because a number of uh, a number of people who have been invited, uh, I've heard nothing from. So you're one of uh, you're one of a few. So for that, I'll give you ten points out of ten. Well, what's, Jim, what's your what's your background? Um, no, I started off as a very young man uh, joining the RNZAF uh, about 1980. Uh, did 20 years on that outfit as a medic. Uh, when I got out of the, uh, the Air Force, I retrained as a registered nurse. Um, some blokes had come over to uh, Hoka Ticket uh, for 18 months to work for me, and I'm still here. <laughs> so, your background, uh, your background in the military, was it uh, a good time of your life? Um, it was an interesting time of my life. Um, I did a lot of travel, I did a, a lot of um, uh, disaster work overseas and in New Zealand. Um, met some interesting people along the way and uh, I got to live with a lot of them. Um, I like doing things with and for people um, and that's why I'm interested in local government because it allows me to do what I'm good at. Uh, what sort of countries did you visit? Um, I've been uh, everywhere from Antarctica to um, the Middle East. Um, oh, wow. We have the UK, America, uh, most of the islands, Australia, uh, all parts of Australia, even the bloody big bit in the middle. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got around. Now, you were a, uh, you're a medic. Yes. What, what does that mean in real terms? Um, so a medic is a person uh, that uh, provides uh, medical care for the, the armed forces personnel he's with. Um, so it's a little bit of a, like an ambulance paramedic and it's a little bit of a, a nurse and it's a little bit of a doctor. Um, it's a mixture of things. Uh, nowadays it's a lot more formalised but uh, in those days um, sometimes you were it. You've, uh, since you've been at Hagatigo, I think you've done, you did three terms on council didn't you? Uh, yep, I did uh, well, two and a half terms really because I uh, uh, got in on a by-election when yet another Davidson um, uh, left on a, a, an extended holiday. Right. So instead of um, uh, letting him take leave, they told him to bugger off and held a by-election instead. <laughs> so, so you've enjoyed the you've enjoyed the uh, the council processes and the trials and tribulations that go with it. Yeah. So the. The first term uh, was very much a, a steep uphill learning curve. Uh, a lot of people come on to council saying they're going to change this and that. Um, there's processes that you have to go through. Um, it, you know, it's almost like a script you have to follow, which is dictated by the government of New Zealand. The uh, the last council you're on, which I guess was the one before this one. That's correct. Um, that was a, a interesting experience? Um, it was a very interesting experience because we were in a, um, a rebuilding phase of that way after the uh, events of the council before um, and uh, the mayor at the time, uh, Mr Havel, was very much into uh, watching the pennies and uh, ensuring that what we did was fiscally responsible to get us back on track, uh, which he did. Um, and that was passed on to the next council to carry on, I believe. Uh, Jim, the um, local body elections, in fact, life in general, has changed since the since social media become involved, and and the keyboard warriors started to uh, 
pop out of the woodwork. Have you noticed a, a change in that area? Um, I have. Um, you know, they're rather, they're both uh, people uh, tend to be these social warriors. Uh, they have all the answers, um, but they won't front up and you know stand for council and make it happen. Um, it's not as easy as you think, folks. There's um, a lot of things to think of. Um, you do your pet project, your pet project means that something has to fall off the other end. You have to be careful what you do. Careful what you promise, I guess. Um, don't promise nothing, but over deliver when you can. So let's uh, let's assume that in October you get the phone call and you're elected to council. What do you think you'll bring to the, to the council that will really benefit the people of Hokitika? Yeah, that's a, that's a, a, a good question. Um, what I bring is the, is the ability to uh, think within and outside the box, uh, to do my research that I'm required to do for and against the subject, um, and give my best advice to um, the uh, uh, council staff from that. Um, not forgetting that the role of the councillor is governance, not operational, as a lot of people think. Makes it makes a difference. Now, Jim, you have, uh, you're a fairly familiar, in fact, a very familiar f uh, figure around Hokitika. I know that every time I go down the street and there's a community project on, you're there. Um, is that because of your tie-up with Lions? Um, yeah, Lions, Lions is a big factor. Um, there is a lady around the town who manages to keep his thumb right in the middle of my, <laughs> my body. Um, so, you know, I, I get a phone call or, or somebody arrives at my door and says, come on. Um, I haven't been uh, as much into uh, lines uh, for a couple of years, um, but I'm still available uh, for the big jobs. Um, I put a lot of work into the RSA. Um, and I also put a lot of work into the New Zealand Red Cross and uh, the things they do. And uh, of late, I've been involved with the uh, Boys Brigade and John Mitchell, who was a very interesting man. Tell me about the RSA. I understand that, uh, well, I know you're the president. Yeah, that's right. Um, the, the previous president was uh, Lyle DeLore, um, and Lyle and Karen and uh, a few other people put this wonderful building together. It is amazing, isn't it? Um, and it utterly stuffed them. It was the, the really huge thing that they had to do. Uh, they put up with a lot of um, you know, criticism, a lot of bureauc uh, bureaucracy, um, and they brought it all together and they did a really good job. Uh, but at the end of it, um, they were ready to uh, pass the ball on. Um, Karen has stayed to keep an eye on me to make sure I don't do anything too silly, <laughs> but uh, Lyle's uh, looking after his grandkids. Oh, fantastic. And, and uh, the Red Cross? Uh, the New Zealand Red Cross, um, I've been involved with that uh, since I was a student in Christchurch, so about 2000. Um, and I was a, a paid staff member over in Christchurch uh, working as a first aid instructor and I also led the, uh, the then emergency response team which is about a hundred people. Uh, in those days they trained them to, to leap over tall buildings and it was my job unfortunately to break all of that down and get them to do more sort of things because the uh, laws of the land have changed. Oh dear, you, that's, uh, they have changed, haven't they? They have. Uh, so I have always been uh, a person uh, that gets picked for change management. Um, and I always seem to work in the jobs that are in big chambers. And, uh, you know, I get to make that happen. Um, so I'm generally pretty good at it. So Jim, Hokitika. Great Hokitika. place. <laughs> Okay, so what what can what can you see now over the next three years, six years, well, ten years? Um, it, it, unfortunately, it is growing, folks. Um, you know, when I came here, uh, the first thing I had to do was learn how to drive at thirty kilometres an hour. I was used to the Christchurch zipping around at sixty, um, and everybody knew where they were going, so they didn't have to use indicators and you know have a chat in the middle of the street. 
including the milk tankers on the state highway. Uh, <laughs> but life has sped up somewhat since I've been here. And and uh, I guess the tourism uh, has been a, an outstanding success. Um, yeah, tourism, when I got here, it was about half a million, 60 buses and uh, a couple of hundred um, uh, camper vans a day. Uh, that all disappeared after the Christchurch earthquake. Uh, that was a real problem for the tourism industry, uh, people that were trying to get things done, uh, such as council. Um, but you know, it, it's been picking up in the last few years, um, and our, um, our facilities are creaking, um, so they all require replacement or refurbishment. And that's a big cost, it's a big organisational thing for a small group of people. Um, you know, you inundate them with several things at once, and then they, you know, they don't get it done very quick, and you know, people get impatient. The uh, the elderly, we we keep reading that um, that we're getting older. I just I'm not having a bar of that. Not job. having any of that. No, I'm no. Not having any of that. I'm still eighteen in the morning. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Ask me at ten o'clock. Yeah. So our our you know the focus that you bring to the elderly, which are a big part of our population. Um, you know, I've had a lot to deal uh, with the elderly in my past life as a registered nurse at the medical centre. Um, I know a lot of them very well. Um, and in fact, uh, in my past time as a councillor, um, I did a lot of my uh, council work in my office. As some people would arrive just to have a chat with Jim, they, you know, as, a, as an aside, can I have my script please? Oh, I used to uh, get um, told a lot. <laughs> well, well, Jim, do you have anything else that you'd like to add? Something, is there anything at all? You, it's, this is your, this is your time in the sun. Um, yeah, Hokitika uh, needs to move forward. Um, we've got all our eggs in one basket. Uh, we need to diversify in some way. Um, you know, many things will come our way and um, people will offer, to, will, will offer to do stuff. Um, what you have to do is let the process go ahead. Um, if they don't meet the planning or the resource management rules that are in place, the thing won't happen. Um, there are very clever people around who can work that stuff out um, by using the appropriate methods. Um, uh, just making a loud noise and making lots of glib statements about things um, won't get you anywhere. Um, you know, and it, it just creates a problem, it creates unrest that is not necessary. Well, Coasters, uh, that's Jim Buttsbatch, and uh, he's a candidate in the uh, 2019 local body elections in. Westland. He's sitting in the Hokitika ward. Jim, once again, thank you so much for accepting our offer because not many people have. And uh, the very best of luck uh, in the elections. Well, thank you very much, Chris. And we'll catch you later. Catch you.